Hey guys, welcome to Growing in the Word on Today. I am Sandra Burnett and I'm so excited about this word on today. I want to say to you on today that you are unquestionably free and we're going to talk about it on today. Now let's grow in the word of God. today with a confession that I want you to put in the comment section because you want to get this in your spirit. So go ahead, put it in the comment section of this video. I believe the Bible is the authoritative word of God. Put that in there right now. I'm giving you a moment to put that in the comment section. And then I want you to put in there, listen, and if you have to go back to rip, to hear this again so that you can put it in the comment section, I want you to put it in there. I want you to put in there, I am cleansed by the word. Come on, you're making a confession. You're putting it in the air because I believe that words create. Listen, I want you to also put in there, I am healed by the word. Glory, if you need healing, come on, put it in there. Put also in there, I am delivered by the word. Anything that you need deliverance from, put it in the comment section. I am delivered by the word. Now I want you to put this in there. As I study and practice the word, I will experience life and spiritual growth in the word. I need you to put that in there because these are powerful statements, powerful facts, powerful truth. If we believe that the Bible is the authoritative word of God and we believe the word, we're healed by the word, we will grow in the word of God. Come on now, let's go deeper in the word. John 8 and 36 says this, if the son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. I like the amplified version of this same verse. It says, if the son liberates you, makes you free man, then you are really unquestionably free. So the title of my message today is unquestionably free. Over 2000 years ago, Jesus won the victory and freed you and I from all powers that held us bound. Come on, put in the, put in the, in, the, in the comment section. I'm free from all powers that tried to hold me bound. Jesus died and he rose again to free us from all powers, all powers that had Lord over us. He died to free us from them. He died and he rose again so that he might be Lord, that he might be master of both the living and the dead. For the word of God says in Romans 14 and 9, Christ died and he rose again for this very purpose, to be Lord both of the living and of the dead. Now we're living right now. So we got to understand that Jesus Christ is Lord in our lives. He lives in our heart, doesn't he? It means that he is Lord. And if he is Lord, he is reigning and we are reigning in this life. So today in Jesus Christ, we have been unquestionably set free. Our freedom, listen to me, is not open to question. It is indisputable. It is undeniable. It is certain. It is unquestionable. Jesus Christ done the work. If any man be in Christ, he is free. There's no question about it. It's not open for discussion. And you are in Christ. You are a Christian. The Bible says that you are free. So let's look at John 6 and 36 a little closer. I like this part of the verse. It says, if the son therefore shall make you free, 
you shall be free indeed. That word indeed means without any question. You are free indeed. We held in bondage by our own thoughts, by our own mind. That's why the word of God tells us to take captive. In other words, put in chain. Hallelujah. Lock it up. Every thought, every, every thought that goes against the authoritative word of God. So we are set free indeed. We are truly set free. We are certainly set free. And it is all by faith. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So it is by faith that we take every promise of God to be true. That we take every promise of God and trust God to bring every promise to pass. I need you to hear me on today. I, I'm excited on today because we are unquestionably set free. Glory be unto God. If the word says it, I choose to believe it. So free means we are not under the power. We are not under the control of anything. And we take the power and the victory that we have by faith through Jesus Christ. For we have the victory because Jesus won the fight. Why do Christians struggle? unnecessarily struggle with guilt and struggle with fear and shame, struggle with bitterness and, and struggle with issues like drugs and, and, and homosexuality. All of these things. Why are we struggling? We love God, but we're struggling. Listen to me. I need you to hear this because they don't know. Listen, how to let the Holy Spirit coach their life. How to let the Holy Spirit help them. How to let the Holy Spirit help them to win a victorious life. It's already been won, but we don't know how to let the Holy Spirit help us to walk in it. John 16 and 13 says this. When the Spirit of truth is come... He will guide you into all truth. He will not speak of his own, but will tell you what he heard straight from the Father above. He will tell you about your future. If that is his job, it is his job also to lead you into all truth, to help you to understand the scriptures, to help you to walk in what the scripture tell you to walk in, to help you to understand how to be free, how to be unquestionably free. It is the Holy Spirit job. But many Christians are not open to what the work of the Holy Spirit, are not open to the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. This is his dispensation. When Jesus said, I'm going away and I'm going to send you a helper, he was talking about the Holy Spirit. He is here right now, living in the heart of the believer, ready to coach us, ready to lead us step by step into truth, to understand that we are free indeed, so that we won't be walking in bondage when we're really free. The Bible lets us know that Jesus was sent by God to proclaim, to talk about, to announce to the world freedom over every struggle, freedom over sin. He came to set us free and he has been given dedicated power, dedicated authority by God over heaven and over earth to free us and to help us to face every struggle in life. I need you to listen to these two powerful verses and I'm closing. It says in Matthew 28 and 18, hear me now. Jesus said, all power and authority is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Now, the next verse in Luke 4 and 18 says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. This is Jesus talking because he has anointed me. He has given me special ability to proclaim the good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind to set 
the oppressed free. Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord has given me special ability. If Jesus is living in your heart, which he is, he has given every believer special ability, hallelujah, to walk victorious, to be free, unquestionably, we are free because we have Jesus Christ living in our heart. Come on, believers. We got to take the word of God to be true. We got to take the word of God as the fact. We got to take the word of God. If God said it, I believe it. And that's unquestionable. I'm walking in the authoritative word of God. And if the word of God says that any man be in Christ, he is free. Then listen, we are free. Now walk in your freedom. Closing. I'm done. I'm done for today. I just want you to get it today that you are unquestionably free. And put that in the comment section. I want you to put it in the comment section if you enjoyed the word on today. If you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe today. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. We are growing in the word of God. I want to see you grow. I want to see you mature in the word of God. I want to see you understand the word. And I believe that God has put a word in my mouth for today for you. And as you continually listening to growing in the word, you will grow in the word of God. As you study the word of God, you will grow in the word of God. As you get on your knees and tell God, Lord, give me revelation knowledge of your word. You will grow in the word of God. For faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of Thank God. Thank you so much for joining Growing in the Word on today. I want you to tell a neighbor, tell a friend about Growing in the Word. Because we are growing in God like never before through Growing in the Word. I love, love, love you guys. So appreciate you. Now you have a growing day in the Lord. Mm -hmm.